Hey, how's it going? This is Cam from Brown's Richmond Volkswagen, and today I'm going to be walking you through this 2020 Kia Telluride S. This Kia Telluride has around 75,000 miles on it. It comes with a 3.8 liter V6. Uh, it is all wheel drive, and it comes in this nice dark moss color. It's almost this brownish green with a black interior, all leather. So uh, let's check it out. All right, now before I get into this vehicle, I did want to mention a few things. This car does have a keyless entry system. You can see that button right there. Key could be in your pocket. All you gotta do is press that button and the car unlocks. As well as our blind spot monitor right there. That'll light up if somebody's in your blind spot so you know not to merge without looking. Then you got this nice chrome trim that lines the window sills and the door sills. I'll go ahead and open this vehicle up. And when we crack open this interior, we're greeted with this all black upholstery finish black with silver accenting it looks very sharp this is a very sharp executive feeling vehicle over here on the door we're gonna have our power locks power windows and our mirror adjustment controls as well as storage and a cup holder and our speaker on this driver's side door we're gonna have our 10-way power adjustability with lumbar control lumbar support very nice very comfortable the upholstery is very soft, inviting. And as you can see, now that we're in the driver's seat, we have our nice steering wheel and our gauge cluster. The gauge cluster does come with this nice MFI that's gonna give you lots of data about your drive. Over here on the steering wheel, we're gonna have our Bluetooth call options, our mode selector, voice control, volume and channel switches. And over here, we're gonna have our cruise control options, a few driver assistance buttons, and uh, our menu button for our MFI here. We also have on this side next to the steering wheel, to the left of the steering wheel, got our blind spot monitor button. You can turn that on and off or check it. And then we're gonna have our lane assist feature, our lane keeping system, our traction, traction control button, and our bulb, uh, bulb brightness. Over here, this is gonna be our infotainment system. It is a very nice infotainment system. I'll go ahead and turn this car on just a touch so the infotainment system is already set up we're home right now so you've got menus and you've got different options here for radio media over on this side you've got your phone your setup options you got a dial over here for volume dial over here for channels um, it's all very easy very friendly to use it does not give you a hard time at all those are just some of the available settings you can go to I'll go to driving info and you've got your information there you can update it down here we're gonna have our climate control settings and this car is single climate um, very straightforward nothing you know confusing all of your controls are gonna be right there you're gonna have your rear defrost your AC down here and then uh, a few more circulation options as well as rear options this car actually comes with two front heated seats as well and this is going to be your control for your driver and your control for your passenger. So they're centrally located, very easy to find. Down here, we're going to have additional storage up here and down here, as well as a 12 volt for charging. You just flip that open like that. And a USB here, as well as another USB for charging. This is going to be your shift right here. And below that, we're going to have our diff lock button our different drive modes. So this car comes with comfort mode, sport mode, smart mode, eco mode, and snow mode. And a few more controls down here for our electric parking brake, just a flick. And we're gonna have our park sensor on and off. You can switch that, as well as our auto start start, auto start stop on or off. And then we have the auto hold button that pertains to this. In the middle here, we have a nice, large spacious center console with an additional storage tray i did take it out you can take it out and put it back in very easily and up here we're gonna have our sunroof controls and our uvo and our call uh our emergency option as well as our sunroof controls and a cup not a cup holder uh sunglasses holder and that's the sunroof there very easy to use oh hard angle I'll go ahead and get to that back seat, show y'all the back seat. All right, I went ahead and cracked open this rear left door. Getting into the back seat, the door is pretty simple. Got your uh, power control here and your 
door handle and your lock on this side. Storage and cup holder in the door as well as the speaker. And over here, we're gonna have three seat bench seating. Um, there is a lot of space in the trunk and actually there's a button that helps you adjust the seat. I'll go ahead and show you one more time. You press this button here, slides forward and it folds. I'll show you it down here too. Same thing, another button. You can also manually control it with that lever there. So now that I'm sitting in the back seat, I have tons of leg room. I'm about six feet tall and I have, you know, around a foot of space before I hit the front seat here. Whole lot of space, nice storage pocket, uh, hook right there, cup holders in the back, 12 volt down there for charging, USB in this door or in this seat here and in this seat here. So these are both chargers. That's really neat. Another hook, more storage. Door is the same on that side. And I'll go ahead and show you the center console here. Nice armrest cup holder. And you can actually fold this down as well. See if I can grab it from the back, okay? I'm grabbing the wrong spot. This folds down as well. If you have skis, anything long that you need to slide through, you can. Now let's go get into that trunk. All right, we've made it to the rear of this vehicle. Do have it running, it is pretty cold out. Really nice rear fascia here. I love this new Kia logo. I think it looks great. Super easy to open the trunk. Just a button right there. There's your backup camera as well. And in the back, we have tons of trunk space. Very inviting, very comfortable. We have second row controls on this side here as well as more charging. So all I have to do is press a button. Those seats go down. Press this button. Uh, that seat goes down. Uh, nice cargo liner here as well as the mats. The mats do come with this vehicle when you purchase from us. Uh, cargo liner as well. Under the cargo liner here, we're going to have more storage. And actually, this one is going to lead to the spare tire. So we're going to flick that up. Oh, can't get it up with my nail. Spare tire is underneath there. And let's just slide this back into place. There we go. Uh, you're going to have more storage down here as well. Uh, storage pockets right there. And cup holders in the rear also. This car does have that third row. It's hiding right here under the storage liner. So three rows in this vehicle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven seats available. Still lots of room in the trunk. And I'll go ahead and bring this back down. There's a handle that makes it very easy. It's very light. Lastly, I did want to show you this uh, passenger door here. You do have the keyless entry button right here. Other than that, the passenger seat is manual adjustable. There is an additional storage pocket down here just for miscellaneous items. The glove compartment is very standard. Good space. And that about wraps it up. So I'll go ahead and uh, get out of here. And this was my very brief walkthrough of this 2020 Kia Telluride S. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to have you come in, check it out for yourself, maybe take it on a test drive. This car does drive very smoothly. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Cam from Browns Richmond VW, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.